So, hello everyone, welcome to another video. And my name is Jordan Sparska, who is here for you and uploading different kinds of videos about your upcoming struggle and upcoming application procedure and different types of lifestyle and many other things. Let's see what I can do for you. So, what will be today's topic? Today's topic will be uh, curriculum beta, that means CV. So, I will actually describe the Europass format as well as I will actually show what are the contents what I have I written when uh, I was um, uh, at your position and actually I will show the CV of Technical University of Munich what I have submitted there. So, what are the contents and topics and subtopics uh, I have actually added, I had added. So, I will also show you there. So hopefully you will like it and uh, moreover uh, that uh, this video will be uh, my second last video uh, of this series because all the detailed things um, I have actually uploaded all the things. Another video will be uh, coming that will be the whole summarizing or the summarized part of my videos. So hope uh, this series uh, was well and you have actually enjoyed it and understood what I was actually giving you or what I was actually delivering you. So uh, yes, thank you so much uh, for subscribing and if you are not a subscriber, please do subscribe. So yes, just let's do it. So uh, for the Europass format, you have to go to your browser and just type Euro P A W S C V. Just click the enter button you will find uh, this tab curriculum vita europass you just have to click this you can see there are uh, three pdfs uh, where first of all you can go to the examples uh, i'm not showing this um, second one is update your cv online that means uh, i do uh, have my cv in this europass format so i can update this but if you want you can also create one so just click uh, this option create your cv and cover letter you 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 will find something like this okay this so this is the platform where you have to write all the things like category is written here like your per, uh, personal information has to be uh, given there uh, then type of applications and uh, different types of um, i would say structures uh, with their names are uh, given here you have to just fill this up so uh, i'm showing this how you can fill this all right so first of all there is uh, your personal information if you want uh, you can actually upload pick up yours i mean an image so what you have to do um, uh, for me it is my drive so let me click it my drive okay so i'm open you can adjust here if you want so I'm adjusting it okay. so then you have to click here like say okay so your picture is uh, fixed here now you have to actually um, update all the other things like click here okay then there will be lots of uh, informations like what is your first name what is your surname what is street address these are uh, not um, like any any can act, anyone can actually fill this up so i'm not actually doing this for you so you can uh, fill all this information your personal information desk so then after that you have to click save so after each and every desk uh, you have to actually fill this um, fill this uh, you have to actually click this save button so type of information click this then what type of application is this is this for for us it is for studies for applied uh, studies applied for and description for which um, degree you are uh, wanting to have this so i can write bachelor uh, sorry for, pardon me masters of science in your degree name hmm? Then just click the save then masters of science in degree name 
uh, work experience if you have any work experience I didn't have that is why I didn't actually write anything in this section work experience but if you have you can write it here then education and training yes uh, so from where you will start you will start from your 10th grade certificate like uh, like uh, for me it was uh, for Bangladesh it is secondary school certificate um, then uh, it is called actually SSC so right here SSC so how will you um, do it just click here okay there will be lots of options so what you will do from when to from uh, when uh, this education was belong you have to actually um, write it here all right so date format so for us it's uh, like this is better i think uh, you can use uh, many other formats here uh, it's below it actually depends on you so what is the title of the qualification a right full certificate name all right like secondary school certificate examination do not write ssc it it actually it does not fit really well then what organization providing education and training so uh, from which uh, school you have actually uh, passed your ssc write it here then what is your city and country so these are the level of uh, national classification that means what was your um, i mean grade so what was your gpa that has to be written here now main subjects or equational uh, field cover so what are the main subjects just write it uh, like your uh, your certificate that means your mark sheet of ssc will uh, define some subjects of your uh, past uh, courses so write all the courses like Bangla, English, Mathematics, Social Science. So these are written um, in your. This have to be written in your SSC if you are a uh, SSC past student. So additional fields, uh, do, do, do not worry about it. Just click save. All right. Right, save. Uh, then uh, I will go for this. So there is a button. Look. So why I I have actually did this. Uh, to show you that after SSC I have to prepare uh, for uh, my Notre Dame College enrollment that, now there is a point so what is the point after your SSC SSC there is a long three months gap three months study gap so do not uh, actually uh, like leave this study gap okay just uh, because these study gaps are uh, pretty much countable uh, when you are applying inside Germany so just fill it with something like for example just uh, write there like preparation of Notre Dame College or preparation for getting admission inside college okay so um, let me preparation for college admission all right then just uh, do the other rest of things like just give it a save button now after that I have actually written about my HSC then after HSC in Bangladesh we all have actually a study gap of uh, almost one year because we have to uh, sit for our um, varsity examination after varsity examination they actually publish their result then after the publication of result we have to enroll ourselves so there um, there belongs one year of passing so uh, so in this one year if you do not actually include anything in this study gap they will count it as a study gap of one year so do not leave it blank you have to write it this study bank like public engineering university admission test and enrollment like if you do not have anything like just uh, just write uh, i was preparing uh, for the uh, admission of uh, any university so that that has to be written like do not leave it blank that you have actually a uh, study gap of one year so it, it might count as a study gap and it, it might uh, you know be a drawback for your CV so after that your degree bachelor degree then after that bachelor degree you know after that bachelor degree there is also a study gap because 
uh, either you are doing job or you are preparing yourself for uh, higher study right so for getting admission it might need six months for me it was like for nine months or it might vary from uh, six months to one month uh, one year so in this session what you have done just write it here like i have written that preparation for GRE and research work and also have done like preparation for my ILTS examination and preparing for the application procedure for german so uh, like let me click a bit so okay so i have written many a things right so do not have to like mention the name just where you were there like when you are GRE, uh, GRE was held here. but uh, for me like uh, if you do not have anything you can just write like preparation for ILTS examination and preparing for the uh, application procedure for Germany right uh, that means if you do not have anything just write this point okay write this point and uh, just so personal skills like mother tongue Bengali foreign languages just uh, these are the uh, you know building uh, function so building uh, comments have to be done so you can just click here it will show up like this like uh, language english understanding so uh, how much uh, of uh, your confidence is here for your proficiency of uh, understanding different kinds of languages that has to be uh, written here if you have a health exam just uh, put the ILTS score and just click save then german uh, for us it is always a one okay for German it is always a one because you we are just uh, the beginners so just basic user if you have any certificates you can also uh, give it here like if you have completed it a1 a2 a3 uh, c1 c2 or b1 b2 whatever it is you can also write it here okay so after that communication skill um, just write it something do not leave it blank then organizational or managerial skill just write it something do not leave it blank if you job related skill if you do have any job related uh, skills just fill it i i didn't have that is why i didn't write it these are skills it is quite uh, quite common for you right or well, because information processing is proficient uh, proficient user communication proficient because you do do know about the internet stuffs right so just uh, fill it with your things so uh, I think for you it is also proficient user okay so additional information this is not built in right after the after uh, this is the ending after that you have to write uh, what you want to actually add in your CV so I have uh, added research internship technical skills conference paper scientific poster award academic awards extracurricular activities then preference so this uh, this additional uh, requirements are uh, really needy because uh, this is not enough right for like till digital skills it was like basic stuffs. now additional informations are the stuffs where you can actually add or impress the professor or impress the authority um, like 100 out of 100 because like for technical skills you, you do have programming language you do know some hardware or you do know some microbiological stuff like i did but uh, like you have something right just find something to add in this additional information because you have to you know impress others impress the authority and that fully depends on you so just uh, find the basic stuffs of yours and just write it here uh, you can write it some references but reference is not mandatory so it is not mandatory but you can also um, write this okay so that is actually uh, all uh, what uh, I have written um, in I have write uh, right inside my CV so so after all these things are done okay um, many other features are here you if you have any driving license just click here and upload uh, the driving license proof um, if you have other skills I didn't but if you have any skills about AutoCAD or if you have any skills about um, speaking other languages if you have any other skills about sports you can just uh, uh, click other skills and you can just post it just type it there anything anything so I didn't have so I didn't write it here so there are lots of things you know uh, okay so another thing uh, there is a button this look uh, this is a, a down button this is up button 
so like if you want to like up like like this portion is mistakenly down uh, now you want to actually uh, put it upward so you can just click here move up so do it interchange right so again you want to uh, get it down so just click here and it will also get you know down so it's a really nice feature so after all the informations are done so where where you will click right so there is an option there is an option say export so just click export and curriculum vita this is my drive my drive now there is an option right other formats if you want to have this like pdf just download it if if you do not uh, want to have your curriculum beta uh, uh, as a pdf like uh, when i was doing this i didn't want that my cv actually will continue any kinds of uh, stickers of europa so what i did i click other formats so i passed the open document all right or you can also write microsoft word oh sorry, sorry it was microsoft word right so microsoft word and download the file so it will be downloaded then you can just click here now you have uh, you will have a button like enable editing just click it here and it will actually enable your editing so this is my curriculum vida actually this curriculum vida is uh, actually was submitted for my technical university munich and uh, my otto von goeg university make the work so now what you will do you will just click it here you will have a cut button just cut it now, just. so this is your curriculum vita and this is also a sticker i do don't i don't want it so what you will do okay. okay okay so just click it here and just okay so that is it after that you just convert it as a pdf so how will you convert it as a pdf go to file section and save as like where you want to have your pdf as i want to have in my downloads so just click here and you will have a pdf so just click save button. so you will have your cv as a pdf in your hand and that will be it Yes, so that is your CV. So that is the thing, uh, the most important CV and what are the options and points needed uh, for your German university that I have actually shown here. So hope you will like it. Thank you for watching my videos and hope all, uh, all things were well. And if you do not understand anything or not anything, a small thing or a small portion you can actually comment below i will also leave all the links uh, of important links uh, below inside my description box you can comment just comment me and uh, you can share you can like and you can subscribe and you have to actually click the bell button for the updates and moreover i want to declare one thing that uh, another series is coming hopefully i will actually cover it because my classes now uh, it's, it's heavy now i'm just uh, getting stuck so uh, hopefully i will be really free and i have actually thinking about um, you know uploading a video that will actually cover in bangla and uh, there will be like four uh, four actually at least four videos uh, uh, uploaded uh, i will upload actually four videos and that will actually include the application procedure of Germany, the things uh, that are not clear, and uh, the important things, and another. Uh, actually, you can uh, 
think it as a dub, dubbing version of uh, English series. So that will be also uh, that will be. आपने की भावे application कोड में चुटर बांग्ला version. So I will actually upload it in Bangla. So hope that will be also helpful for you. And for that reason, you have to actually thumbs up and you have to also actually hit the bell button. So that will be the thing. So hope uh, all you have enjoyed the series and uh, hope you can write your CV well because CV is one kind of um, mirror I can actually denote it as a mirror of yours and it actually really important for your admission. So yes, thank you so much and hope uh, uh, we will meet soon. Bye.